Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another week in GTA Online. This week, I actually have some proper good news for you because the dry period of double cash is now officially over because there is triple, and yes, I'm saying that right, triple cash in RP in the following modes, which is on Hot Ring Circuit races, the Issy Classic races, and also in RC Bandito races. Now those are going to be paying out exceptionally well. Reason being is the following. If you can see on your screen, you see a couple of screenshots of the results that you could get with this triple cash and RP. Yes, it is indeed $112,000 for completing an eight minute race. And yes, indeed, that is 32,000 RP for winning a four minute race. So if you are someone who needs money, or especially RP, this is going to be your week. If you're someone that despises these races, do not worry because there's also double cash and RP in the regular stunt races and also in time trials. Now, time trials is something that you can only do once. So if you're someone that doesn't particularly like any of the triple RP and cash races, then stunt races are still a pretty good way of making money this week as well. However, do consider playing in those triple cash races though. The RC Bandito for example doesn't require you to have a custom vehicle so if you're someone that is new to the game or doesn't have any custom vehicles at all then this is definitely a fantastic way of making money all you need to do really is try to win as much as possible hell i've seen screenshots of people where people would get like seventy thousand dollars for simply finishing second so the rewards in this one are going to be massive i highly encourage everyone to give it a shot discounts this week there is 30 percent off the t20 the Nero, the XA21, the Tyrus, the RC Bandito, 35% off the Jester Classic, the Tally GTO, the Hot Ring Sabre, the Flash GT, the Drift Tampa, the Ruston, the Issy Classic, the Toro, the Gargoyle, and the Chimera. Now, if you want my personal advice on discounts this week, obviously with DLC coming in a couple of weeks' time, which is now according to the rumors on the internet, and with that I mean fun them do it you on Twitter, it's going to be about mid-July when we're going to get the DLC. At least these are the predictions that are now in going around in public. Having said that, because of the triple cash that is currently going on, I could advise you to get an IC Classic. Reason being is that it's currently only two hundred sixteen thousand dollars, and if you add some upgrades to it, you're way below five hundred thousand dollars which as you saw you could make back in less than an hour if you win five races now, obviously you can be someone who just chooses to ignore that completely and just play rc bandito races so it's definitely not a must but if you're looking to mix that stuff up a little bit ec classic isn't all that expensive to begin with the Hot Ring Sabre, on the other hand, is a little bit more expensive. If you want to get it with a discount, you're going to be spending $540,000, which is going to be a little bit diff more difficult to get back. However, if you are someone who's planning to make full advantage of this particular week, it might not hurt to get it. However, the Hot Ring Sabre is in itself not that amazing, nor are the races for them. So if you are looking to gain a, somewhat of an advantage in these races, an easy classic is worth considering. The rest I wouldn't bother with too much, especially if you are a newer player. And in terms of the other stuff, I personally wouldn't really bother with buying anything because again, you know, DLC is coming around and just in general, the vehicles that are on sale aren't that fantastic apart from the Shatoro, which is a very quick bike around the corners, but in stunt races is not going to do you too well. And there's one thing I want to make abundantly clear is that purchasing the RC Bandito is a mistake from a racing perspective, because the only thing you can change about the RC Bandito is the way the thing looks. You cannot change any performances with it at all, so purchasing this thing would be a waste of money. If you want to use it in RC Bandito races, simply don't you will be wasting over a million on a car that you're not going to be able to improve at all pre race this week is to commute luck to sports and since this is a straight line race basically the parai is going to be your best and only choice really having said that though this premium race is only today on the 27th and beyond that they haven't detailed what the premium races are going to be which is a bit of a shame really uh, but yeah unfortunately i can't really give any advice on vehicles to use but hey i guess it is what it is but with all that said and with all that done though that was it for this one thank you so very much for watching leave a like if you 
enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.